Hey guys, it's Carrie Shoes, the Essential Oil Coach, coming to you live in my bathroom. I mean, who doesn't need a Friday wake-up call to be in the bathroom? All right, so this is the second part of our spring cleaning, and we are going to do this. I've got two cameras, so bear with me, because we do have the smaller bathroom. And bathrooms always seem to be the best so for you guys that have littles, we're going to teach you a recipe to teach your kids how to do a volcano in the toilet. But also, it is very important because it's probably one of the most used rooms in the home, right? So we're going to do this with absolutely no chemicals, no toxins. Everything that we are doing is done with doTERRA essential oils, which is the oil company that I love to partner with um, for its purity and potency. And for those of you who don't know me, um, I have been teaching for 11 years on essential oils and how to use them effectively, different recipes and, and not knowing anything and then learning so much. So I get to share that expertise with you this morning. Some of you have house cleaners maybe <coughs> excuse me maybe you have a cleaning service i don't i absolutely love to clean and put things in order so you know some of the tips and tricks that i'm going to teach you are going to be super simple and as you notice i'm not wearing um gloves but you can wear gloves i like to get in there and feel things but there's no chemicals in this so i don't have to worry about breathing in into my lungs i don't have to worry about it burning or or um, spots coming against my clothes, of course, you know, you got to wear your workout clothes when you clean. So it is always such a pleasure to be able to serve you guys and teach and keeping things um, clean right now is super important. So before I show you all of the things, I'm going to talk to you about the five oils that we commonly use in our household in the bathroom. And for those of you who don't know, there's a multiple amount of resources that you can use don't just use Wikipedia, don't just use Google, because a lot of the time when you're looking for something natural, the American Cancer Association has a, an incredible amount of natural resources for essential oils. I partner with doTERRA because they're pure, they're potent, there's nothing added, no formaldehyde, no petroleum. However, when you're dealing with Google and Wikipedia, unless you are going to the scientific um, response or to the company in which the oils have been sourced from, right, you may get somebody's opinion. And that is fine, except for the, sometimes those opinions are just not um, qualified. So we definitely want to be able to get rid of yuckies and microbes and germs, but none of these oils are meant to heal, cure, or prevent anything, right? They're from nature. And so nature does its thing. I don't know how many of you guys have ever used lemon oil to clean with, or maybe you have a product that you buy from the big box off the stores. But the other cool thing about this is, is that it's non-aerosol, there's no parabens, there's no sulfates, it's good for your environment, and it smells amazing. I mean, so anyway, I wanted to tell you about the resources. So I'm covering this up because I don't know that I'm supposed to share the title of books on Facebook Live right now. But we're going to talk about lavender. We're going to talk about melaleuca and tea tree, um, which are one in the same. We're going to talk about lemon, a blend, and it's a cleansing blend called Purify. So if you're a pine salt person or you like the smell of pine, hey, Gina. Hi, Marty. Good morning. And then the last one we're going to talk about is On Guard. And maybe it's the first one we talk about. Because when I clean in the bathroom, On Guard is the protective blend. It has clove and orange um, cinnamon. But I drop just one drop on my hands. And I really just rub it in. Uh, because I want that protection of um, cooties, right? You think, oh, cooties. But it's just what I do personally. You don't have to do that. On Guard's another one that is great to use in a diffuser, which we have one in the bathroom. I've got two different, you guys see that? So I have this going on. Um, I always like to fill my diffuser up. Um, this morning I have actually lemon going in that because I wanted that freshness of being able to smell that lemon. So On Guard is one, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but at my sink I pretty much have everything On Guard. <laughs> We have everything on guard. on guard. Why? Because it's a super amazing protective immunity blend for our family. So that is on guard. And as I talk to the talk to you guys about these, I'm gonna just set them aside. So 
The next one we're gonna talk about is Purify. And if you don't know, I have apps and resources. That's why I'm the Essential Oil Coach. After 36 years of coaching athletes in colleges, high school, junior high, parents, administrators, um, you know, my biggest asset is to be able to teach and to educate and then connect you to those things. So if you wanna know how I get my resources, just let me know. But um, I have apps that tell me that that um, are just super simple, right? Totally lost my train of thought. So Purify, it's right here in this book. How amazing. So Purify is great because it has that pine salt. I used to be a pine salt queen, but here's the thing. I was, I was a lot of things. I sprayed, you know, furniture polish and I used certain things to make my floor shiny, used different things for my surface. Um, you just, you name it. I was that big box cleaner. The stronger the smell, the cleaner the house. Um, however, I didn't know that cleaning with certain products and chemicals, which everybody needs those right now, I understand. I'm not bashing any of the big brands. I just chose something healthier and natural in my house because we had a son that had reactions to those. And with those reactions became bronchial issues, mucus issues, you name it. Um, so we found that there were certain chemicals in those products that were actually giving him a reaction. So that is why um, I chose to do this. Was it simple? No, because I haven't learned how to make my own. Um, but it was the best benefit ever. So Purify is simply a cleansing bit blend, and it's great for those germs and those microbes. And you can actually, um, and I'm going to show you how to use it in just a second, but I like to put this in my bathroom sink first. So it's going to emit that pine, pine smell. But the next one we're going to talk about is lemon because I wanted to bring in the three most common oils that people have in their home, whether they've bought them online, whether they've bought them in a big store, whether they've bought them from me or someone else, um, are lavender, tea tree, and melaleuca, which are one and the same, and lemon. So lemon, tea tree, melaleuca, or lavender, right? Hi, Anne. Hi, Martha. Um, so those are three of the most common purchased essential oils. So I want to really talk about those because I think that some of you might have these in your cabinet and maybe you know how to use them in a diffuser or you know how to make a spray, but I want to teach you to, to use what you have, right? So on the back of these bottles, which is one of the reasons why I've chosen doTERRA, is supplemental facts. So they're easy to use aromatically, topically, internally, and they're safe. They've been proven medically and scientifically. So these are the three oils that we're really going to focus on today to clean this bathroom. So let me tell you about melaleuca or tea tree for some of you that don't know. It is beautiful because it's an antiseptic, it's antibacterial, it's antifungal, and antiviral. So why would you not want to use that in a bathroom, right? The One of the most <laughs> used rooms in the home master bath big bath guest bath we happen to be in my what used to be my boys bath when they lived at home but you guys i'm not i'm not a scientist i just was a mom that needed something different so i have a resource that i look at and it actually has cleaning in the back of this book so if you want to know how to get this book message me right all right so lemon let's talk about lemon Lemon and lavender, people don't realize that lavender is a natural antibacterial. And so, you know, I'm not saying that this is the disinfectant for the world right now. Please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm saying that studies have found that essential oils can help. You may have to scrub a little bit harder or let it soak for a little bit longer, but you're taking the toxins out of your home. You're pu pu putting beautiful, cheaper, faster, more effective ways to do things. And probably most of you already have this th little trio that I'm talking about. So let's talk about lemon. Lemon is not only as amazing for using in your food and your water, right? But it's antiseptic, it's antioxidant, it's a disinfectant, it is an astringent, and it also degreases. So if you are a mom of littles or if you are doing some spring cleaning and you need to get some sticky off, it's easy just to rub it straight on the sticky and get it right off. If you run out of nail polish remover, you can let this sit. But let me tell you, what you want a hack for this? Lemon oil is great for your cuticles. And it's great for sunspots. So, anyway, and coffee breath. 
All right, done with that one. Lavender. Lavender is um, a very sweet. It's a little bit different than, um, than what you grow here in Oklahoma, right? Lavender is a beautiful way. It's also a natural antihistamine, you guys. So bug bites, if you're having an allergic reaction, um, you can actually try some lavender over the bridge of your nose to open up your airways. So lavender can be used in the bathroom as well. Lavender and lemon together to make a lemonade, it's gonna be what you wanna drink after you clean this bathroom. All right, so that is how I'm getting my resources. I wanted to teach you how to do it. I'm gonna open this door and put that resource book right out. I wanted to teach you how to find those because people are like, oh, I can't ever teach what you're doing. Yes, you can. You just have to have the right resources and make sure that it has the scientific backing and the medical backing to prove what you're saying, right? All right, and just remember, when you're sharing anything about essential oils or any other product, please don't make an assumption that it heals, cures, or prevents anything. We don't want to lead people to think of something if they don't have that experience with it, right? All right, so some of the things that I do clean with throughout my whole entire household, and if you caught part one, there's two more parts to the spring cleaning. Um, I use hydrogen peroxide. I use that beautiful, it has a little penguin or a duck, and it is um, safe for animals, it's safe for our waterways, but it's also amazing if you have a heavy level of, I have mechanic and construction that live in my home. And so sometimes there's some grease, and I don't know if any of you have boys, but there's some kind of funk that comes off of their bodies that sits around that bathtub, and I promise you, you're gonna want the blue stuff to help you out with that. <laughs> All right, and then the other thing that I use, and it's on my floor right now, white vinegar and baking soda. All right, so hydrogen peroxide, basic good old tap water, some blue dishwashing detergent that has a penguin or a duck on it maybe, um, white vinegar, baking soda. Those are literally my five top things. But the other thing that makes it really simple is the On Guard Concentrate Cleaner. Um, so... I'm actually going to put that hot water started in my sink. I put about a capful into my sink because in bathrooms, it's really important, you guys, to start from top to bottom and make sure that you have separate tools, one for the toilet and one for the sink in the bathroom and the bathtub or the shower because you don't want to use the same um, cloth on your stool, on your toilet, on your commode, on the latrine that you're using when people brush their teeth and wash their hands, right? That hopefully is common sense. The one thing I love adding to the On Guard um, Concentrated Cleaner, and guys, I get 18 spray bottles out of this. It's the best find ever. So I add about six or seven drops of Purify. Remember, it's that pine smelling one, right? I have lemon going on in my diffuser. And like with most cleaning um, products, you if you're going over the box, big name brands, you need to make sure that you're looking on how to clean with that because there are some that need clean or clear water, clear water, cold water, or hot water. And then it tells you exactly, oh, you've got to spray it, sit it for 15 to 18 minutes, spray it again, and then wipe it down. I don't have to do any of that, which is rocking awesome. I do use hot water to clean. So I have uh, showed you about the On Guard Concentrate and the Purify. So I'm actually gonna put these out. Because in a very tiny bathroom, it is really hard to have all this stuff and talk to you about. So hydrogen peroxide is one thing that I go ahead and I put in the shower floor. I like it because it's like scrubbing bubbles, right? It is a quarter cup in, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm gonna put this right into my bathtub's floor. And I like it because it helps it to release some of the dirt and the scum, but it's also beautiful at getting rid of mildew, right? So, and I'm gonna save the volcano toilet for later. All right, so to that shower, because I have a mechanic son that used this, is the, this one, this is where I'm gonna put a couple of drops of the blue stuff right in with the hydrogen peroxide. And I am gonna try to move my camera, so maybe you can see it. All right, so literally, 
it's just a no-brainer. Now let me see if I can get that right. All right, can you guys hear me okay? What do you say? I start middle to bottom. <laughs> Gina, I love this. And you do have that book. I love that too. And Marty, I just made a new bottle this morning to clean with. I love that stuff. And she's talking about the On Guard Cleaner. So it's really good. All right, so in and out of a bathroom. I mean, who knew that I was going to wake up with you guys, clean the bathroom, lock myself in. Um, so first things first, you want to be able to have your right tools, right? You guys know these. These are like the little magical sponges. If you're using regular sponges, please make sure that you are sanitizing them in the top rack of your dishwasher, letting them completely dry out, and then they are only used for the bathroom, right? Um, I've got a micro towel because I like that for my for my glass, and I also have a scrubbing brush because you may you may need that. All right, here's what else I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add about six drops of tea tree oil because it's antifungal, and I don't know if you guys have any athletes or foot fungus or whatever, but I like to make sure that this is in the bathtub, right? And I said six drops, so I just put seven. So yes, you can be 11 years of an expert and still not know how to count. <laughs> okay, awesome. And while I'm letting that sit, remind I'm reminding you I have hot water in the vanity basin. I have hydrogen peroxide with just a few drops of the blue dishwashing detergent and then tea tree oil or melaleuca, right? We haven't gotten to the commode yet. That's gonna be the very last thing. So you gotta hold on. And I'm trying to make this as fast as possible. All right, so I'm gonna take my scrubbing brush and I'm gonna put this on hot water. Super simple. And for time purposes, I'm going to take that rag, remember because I have one for the shower and vanity and one for the toilet. And I love it because you guys, you can simply just wipe down the shower walls and it takes the gunk off. It's really great. So make sure that you're getting around the handles. Get the handles. Now, if you, can you guys see this? There's a shower head, and for some of you, you can't see it because I have you pointed towards the door. All right, here we go. Super easy hack, okay? The same thing that I'm gonna teach you for the toilet bowl volcano, you can put it in a sandwich bag and wrap, the, and put a rubber band around it. If you've got hard water deposits on your shower head, you let it sit there overnight, boom, done. You don't have to do a thing. It's great, you don't have to replace things. Now I'm gonna make sure that I put this to the side because that's my vanity. And I'm, I'm gonna take a moment and just clear things off, right? Because that's what you do. Make sure you clear things off. I gotta take my fish. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So we've used the scrubby brush. We wanna make sure that we've put that aside as well. If you've got a rug on the ground, which I do, Make sure that you wash these at least once a week, especially if they are in the main area, because I don't know about you guys, girls don't miss, boys miss, right? Even old boys. Hey, Danielle, good morning, Marcy, how are you? All right, I'm gonna shut this door again. So, we've used the Melaleuca, the tea tree. We've used the lemon, which is coming again. Don't forget, it's also in the diffuser because I want to cleanse that air while I'm doing that, right? I've put the on guard on my hand. And here's the next thing. You guys ready? This is the, I hope you guys can see this. Because if you've got littles or you have grands at home, so you're gonna lift the toilet bowl up, right? And I know who uses this toilet. So into that, I'm going to add, um, and I've done this for such a long time that it's just a no brainer for me. Okay, it's always baking soda that goes into the commode first, right? So we are going to put two cups of baking soda and let little kids do this. It's not toxic to them at all. All right, and to that baking soda, because I want to get that antibacterial, that antifungal, um, I'm going to add five drops of tea tree. But now, ladies and gents, 
I'm going to add that lavender, right? All right. Five and five. Five and five into the commode. Okay, so hopefully you guys are watching. Give me a thumbs up if you can see this because this is like science 101. This is the best trick to, keep, to teach your kids how to do chores, how to take care of their home, and what is getting ready to happen next is amazing. I love it. All right, so we're going to take that vinegar, right? And yes, you can start with one cup. Okay, let's see. All right, so we're going to have this reaction. Oh my gosh, I have to show you. Ready? Look what it does. It's that anti-foamy moment. Woo! All right, so you just created a massive toilet bowl volcano. You're helping, your kids are helping you, your grands are helping you, but you're gonna let that sit, right? And now we're gonna finish out. <laughs> it can be, yes, I can be that geek. And I love it because it's so much fun. Who has this much fun cleaning their bathroom? Like legit. So I don't know if you guys were with me on Monday, but I made a glass cleaner and I always like to put it in a yellow bottle with glass. I got this from Grove Collaborative, which no, they don't pay me, um, but I just liked their glass bottles. If you don't have a glass bottle, use something and find a spray bottle top that fits because I promise you, if you have a glass jar, you're gonna find one. They even make them for mason jars. Anyway, in this, is a half a cup of vinegar. It's absolutely just tap water, and it is 20 drops of lemon. That is my glass cleaner, right? But remember the property of vinegar and lemon. So I'm gonna spray the bottom and all around the basin of this toilet. Make sure you get the handle, right? And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna spray the handle of this shower, and um, that's that. Okay, we're done. All right, while I'm letting that sit, don't forget that I haven't done the vanity yet. So you're pulling everything off, right? Because everybody has tissues right now. We hope, we hope you have tissues. Now to clean that glass, you can just absolutely um, take your mic uh, micro cloth or a cotton cloth. Um, if you have the e excess of paper towels right now. <laughs> um, anyway, you're gonna spray that down. Make sure that you get your, your light fixtures um we have pictures in the bathroom so we just simply like to wipe those down right easy enough takes that dust right off of there and you're good to go top to bottom and at the same time you're wiping up those dusts you know so no dust mites no whatever all right so we have done the shower we've done the shower walls i've given you a tip and a hack to get that mineral deposit off of your shower head. We've got the, the, t the uh, toilet bowl volcano absolutely going, and we have the on guard and purify in the sink, right? And so I'm gonna set those oils out. Now, the last, time, the, the last thing I'm gonna come back to is that lemon, right? All right, so with my vanity, right? Because I have one cloth, for the, sh for the toilet, and if you use a toilet bowl scrub brush, great, that's fine. I use my hands. Everybody's like, oh, that's disgusting. It's okay. It's not gonna kill me. All right, so we're gonna wipe this vanity down, right? If you've got some tough uh, mineral deposits, use one of these little magical brush, little sponges, and it's top to bottom. Make sure you get everything down. And I always like to wipe the front of the cabinets, like maybe where the kids' toothbrushes are or as a guest. But at the same time, oh my gosh, you guys, my bathroom smells amazing. I always wipe down my towel racks and then also the paper towels. Or paper towels, toilet paper. If you have toilet paper right now, I think that's a bigger thing. All right. Rinse that out. Let that soak. Make sure that you get up and around your faucets really well, right? And we're done. Okay, the other thing I wanna make sure that you guys um, remember is every time you, maybe you have guests every two days, especially if it's just family member right now, but you need to replace your hand towels. Make sure that they're clean. Um, if you don't have the opportunity to wash the hand towels every day, I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool, air freshener. 
Okay, so I have this handy dandy. Most cosmetology, Amazon has these as well. But this is literally my air freshener in my bathroom. So I put five drops of On Guard and then I put five drops of lemon. I'm gonna take that to the sink. Fill that up. That's what I do. And this is the air freshener. So I just shake it and watch this. Can you guys see the mist? It's really awesome. So you can also use this to clean. It's a it's a win-win situation. Hi, Brenda Porter. All right. So lastly, you've got that sink clean. You've got your vanity clean. You've got your mirrors clean, your light fixtures. Don't forget to take that vanity cloth, the one that we used with the shower, clean those light switches down, and wipe the door handle. Done. We are done, done, and done. Now, to the bath, to the toilet, right? It is top to bottom. I don't, I put my hands in there. You guys can all go, ew. But make sure that you're hitting the top of it, around the back side. Make sure you get underneath the lid, around. Get it up in there. And then remember, I had already sprayed this down. So I have that baking soda, vinegar, melaleuca, and lavender in the toilet. And then I'm going to get down up underneath because I've already sprayed this down. Okay? I'm going to come back to the sink and wash my hands because this is real-time TV. <laughs> All right. So we're done with that. And then the last thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that you have got... Sweep and mop at the end, and then you're going to put everything back in. I mop with um, in a mop bucket. If you guys didn't see this on Monday, I take hot water in a mop bucket. I add um, about 10 drops of Purify or 10 drops of lemon. Everything is taken care of at that point. It's safe for hardwoods. It's safe for my grout and my tile. Okay, so that's how we do it. I mean, that is literally how we get the bathroom done. And I'm, you know... 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever. So right now, I would like to open this up and I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna put this little towel down because I just cleaned. And what questions do you guys have for me? I would love um, to know. I have some people that are gonna watch it. Make sure you hashtag replay on this. Um, what else? Is there anything that I haven't covered? So it's top to bottom. Make sure you get your door handles, your light switches. If you need any additional help on what the recipes are or how to find them or the resources, please just comment below. Make sure you tag me in this video. Um, I'd love for you to share it with your family and your friends. And I will see you again tomorrow for National Pet Day because we are doing a pet class. So if you have any furry friends, you, you're going to want to be here. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.